Здравам, и аз съм Даниела Нагоровска, наставник по английски язик по Ол Георги Суверев Битола. Днешната тема за нас е Present Perfect, Present Simple and Present Continuous Tense. Окей, okay, let's start, students. What's the definition of the Present Perfect Tense? The Present Perfect is used to indicate a link between the present and the past. The time of the action is before now but not specified, and we are often more interested in the result than in the action itself. It has happened several times already, which means it started in the past up to the present. Present simple tense. We use present simple to express the idea that an action is repeated or usual. The action can be a habit, a hobby, a daily event, a schedule event or something that often happens. Look at this example. Train leaves every morning at a.m., which means that happens every day. Okay, present continuous tense. We use the present continuous with normal verbs to express the idea that something is happening now at this very moment. You are learning English now. So, at the end of the le- at this lesson, all learners will be able to use the auxiliary helping verbs with the past participle form of the base verb to distinguish between usage of, past, uh, of simple present and present perfect forms of the verbs. We use verbs in present perfect tense in affirmative, interrogative, and negative sentence and how to arrange the words in the proper order to form good sentence structure. So, let's see uh, your previous knowledge. Let's remember what you have learned before. Sarah, her house every Sunday. Today is Sunday, and Sarah, her house. Okay, look at the verb clean. You should use this verb in the correct tense. But before that, When you read the first sentence, Sarah, her house every Sunday, please pay attention on on the time expression. So, we usually use, because it's every Sunday, we usually use present simple tense. Sarah cleans her house every Sunday. But today is Sunday, and she is cleaning her house, which means she's doing that right now. Okay. All these sentences are for you to check your knowledge and send to your teacher. Okay, let's go. Now, what are the differences between present simple, present continuous tense, and present perfect tense? First, present simple tense. We usually express facts, permanent situations, habits, and routines. Natural expressions of the situation repeated or regular occurrence. Present continuous tense usually express actions going on at the time of speaking, temporary unifiers, head expressions of an event, and changing situations. Present perfect tense usually connects past with the present. Past event with the impact and present, something started in the past and continuing, and continuing in the present. So, look at these three sentences. And I've had my old guitar since I was sad. Look at the verb construction. I've had. So, you've got auxiliary verb had plus past participle form. And that's present perfect because this action started in the past, but I still have my guitar. Next sentence. I have a new guitar from my dad which is a fact my dad bought me and I'm still having it. And I'm playing my new guitar at the moment and you can hear the music playing my guitar. Okay, so let's see the negative form. He hasn't seen Ben for a month. Hasn't seen, look at the construction, it's, which means it's a long time he hasn't seen Ben. He can't see Ben at the party, it's a fact, because, the, because Ben isn't, isn't there. And Ben isn't having a great fun at the party right now, 
because obviously it's boring. Okay, see the questions and answers. Have you ever had an accident? Mm -hmm. Look at the photo. Yes, I have. Has he ever scored a goal? No, he hasn't. Or no, he has never scored a goal. So let's see also what are the common time references for all these three tenses. Present simple usually use all these time references like tonight, today, this morning, usually, often, rarely, always, sometimes, never, etc. Present continuous, now and at the moment. Present perfect, so far, for three years, since last week, etc. So let's see the language in action. Okay. Uh, we, usually, we usually use it in everyday language, but we never almost pay attention. Have you ever been on a trip without your parents? Look at the verb construction. Have you ever been? Which means we are talking about the experience. Yes, I've been camping with the scouts for years. Mm -hmm. So, look at this. Do you still go camping? Yes, I usually go to Wales. The weather is always fine there, which means that this is repeated action and this is present simple next. And next, I've never been to Wales. Have you ever been to Scotland? Yes, I've been camping there too. Also experienced here. Kathy, are you going to visit London next year? Yes, definitely. I'm planning to stay longer. That's a very good idea. See you then. Look at the construction. Are you going? The present continuous tense expressing future plans. Like in this answer, I'm planning to stay longer. So let's go on. So these are the, quite, these are the interesting sentences for you that I've chosen uh, for your homework. But uh, you can uh, use all these verbs. In all three sentences, present simple, present continuous, and present perfect, please fill them in and send the homework to your teacher. Okay? You're going to know your level of knowledge. Okay, so uh, let's see what are the present simple uh, uses to talk about habits and routines. She usually works at home. They always walk, walk to school. I never eat meat. Clues to identify. How can you identify present simple? Maybe you should pay attention to uh, time expressions like often, always, never, usually, seldom, every weekend, day, Sunday. Example, I always go to school or I clean my room every Sunday. It's obviously repeated action. Okay, clues to identify present continuous. The use of words such as at the moment, now, right now, today. Example, I'm studying English now. Affirmative, negative and interrogative form of present continuous are affirmative, I am walking, he, she, it is walking, we, you, they are walking. Negative, I'm not walking. He, she, it is not walking, and we, you, they are not walking. So, uh, there is another challenge for you for present simple and present continuous. So, I'm going to explain the first two sentences, and you are going to do the next. Okay, let's read the first sentence. I not like chocolate. Hmm. Do you think this is an action that's happening at the moment or it's a fact? I think more if it is a fact. And now we are going to put present simple here. I don't, uh, you don't like chocolate. Okay? She not study at the moment. Hmm. So you have to pay attention on the time expression at the moment and use what? Present continuous tense. She isn't studying at the moment. So please be nice and fill in the, all these uh, sentences and send to your teacher to check. Okay, 
So that's all. Thank you for today and see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.